What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Mark coming back at y'all again. And y'all, I know it's been a minute since the last time I did a video up here on YouTube, and that's because I've been real, real busy with work, among everything else. So that's why I have been able to make videos as much as I used to. But I'm back again today, and what I want to do for y'all is something a little bit different because I know I usually do my vocal analysis videos up on here. But what I want to do is give y'all tips on singing, and I'm just literally coming up with this idea at the last minute, like probably within the last um, five minutes or so. But I want to give y'all tips on singing, you know, especially those of you who are interested in becoming professional singers. Um, the first thing I would do first and foremost is to go see a vocal coach because Sometimes you need to get a second set of ears in order for them, for them to tell you what you're doing wrong, what if you're not breathing correctly, or if you're not using the proper technique. So, you know, I recommend anyone to go see a vocal coach because, you know, it's not good for anyone to teach themselves how to sing. And I know for me, you know, I never been formally trained myself. You know, I've been trained or been taught by my mother um, and one of my friends back in high school. You know, since my mother had went to school for voice and, you know, she has a very operatic sound to her voice. So she basically taught me the fundamentals of singing, you know, for the most part. So and and then I also had, you know, looked on YouTube, you know, to um, look at several different vocal coaches videos and were able to get tips from them. So that's how I was able to learn how to sing, you know. And, and then secondly, you know, another important thing is before you sing, make sure you know how to breathe. And I'm pretty sure all of us know how to breathe because if you know how to breathe, then you know how to sing. And if you're not breathing correctly, you're not singing correctly. And, you know, also, you know, we don't sing from the neck up. But like we sing with our whole entire bodies, you know, especially incorpor incorporating things like our diaphragm or whatnot. And it's not just our diaphragm that we use, but we also have to use our pectoral muscles, our ribs, lungs, back, everything, you know, because, you know, it's the only way that we can give our voices that full support and make sure that everything is well connected. And speaking of connectedness, you know, make sure that your vocal cords are coming together. You know, you can't have your vocal cords going in different directions because what will happen is that, you know, raspiness will come into play. And in order for you to produce a, a pure, clean sound, like you will have to make your vocal cords meet with each other and make them come together because it's the only way that you can able to produce a pure, clean sound. And um, the other important components of singing or um, the important tools of singing is our lips, our teeth, and our tongue. You know, you have to relax, relax the base of your tongue. And I've heard a lot of people say that it's not a good idea for anyone to sing with a flat tongue. But if you're hitting, you know, higher notes, like, or hitting the high notes, you know, then and only then it's okay for you to, to use a flat tongue, to my understanding. So, yeah. And let's see, what's the other thing? Um, okay. So I mentioned, you know, you gotta go see a vocal coach and make sure you learn how to breathe before you sing and, you know, make sure you use your entire body to sing. Um, another thing is that make sure you stay in your lane or, you know, Stay in your range because what will happen is that if you sing outside of your range, you know, that's, you know, when, you know, you get real hoarse and whatnot. And in addition, what can also call, cause hoarseness is um, by you singing under the weather. So that's why I don't think it's a good idea for anyone to sing when they're sick because, you know, like, like when you have terrible allergies and sinuses, um, you know, your vocal cords are not coming together. Like your vocal cords are going in different directions. And that's why, you know, you, you know, a person sounds raspy when they sing or, or when they sound hoarse because their vocal cords are not meeting with each other. So 
that's why I don't think it's a good idea for anyone to sing when they're sick or, um, you know, sing outside of their range all the time. Like, yes, it is good for you to explore your range and play around with your voice, but by the same token, you also got to know your limits and, you know, know what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. So that's how, you know, you're able to you know, to become a great singer and how to master your voice is to know what you're good at and what your weaknesses are and make sure that you're implementing the proper um tools on singing and things like that. And I think that's about it. I think I pretty much covered everything. So I hope y'all had got something out of this video and I hope this video was very informative for y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.